this tutorial, we'll be having a look at a few alternative ways to obtain Decred. Continuing from the previous lesson, we'll be looking at a few ways to purchase it. In the first lesson, I obtained Decred using Crypto to Crypto Exchange. For example, exchanging Bitcoin to Decred. Another option available is Direct Exchange. This means exchanging fiat directly to Decred. As Decred gains popularity, there will be more opportunities for direct exchange. At its core, Decred is an ever-growing network, and networks need power, and that's where the proof-of-work miners come into play. The role of the miner is simple. Miners provide the power needed to process transactions, sustaining the blockchain. Miners contribute computational power and are rewarded for this. Approximately every five minutes, a new block is mined. This occurs when a cryptographic puzzle is solved by a miner. 30 new coins are released, and 60% of these go to proof-of-work miners. This sum is distributed proportionally based on the hash rate output of each miner's graphics processing unit. Decred's unique proof-of-stake protocol serves many purposes. The primary one being, it allows currency stakeholders to vote on proposals. This allows Decred to innovate faster in the implementation of new features. The system even allows for stakeholders to vote on the implementation of new features. This is referred to as hard fork voting. Decred's stakeholder-driven consensus system allows it to innovate where other currencies have traditionally struggled. Decred stakeholders exchange a small monetary sum for a ticket and voting rights. Staking tickets enter a pool and are chosen at random. A maximum of five tickets can be chosen for each block mined. If pooled, a stakeholder receives the funds originally staked, minus a small transaction fee. As well as this, they also receive their one in five slice of the proof of stake reward. The ticket price reacts to supply and demand. The target pool size is 40,960, and the ticket price adjusts every 144 blocks, which is approximately 12 hours. It is possible to lose money staking. If a ticket is not chosen in 142 days, it expires, and must be revoked from the pool, minus the transaction fee agreed on at the start of the process. The probability of this happening at the target pool size is less than 0.5%. Decred rewards those who participate in the system of governance. Staking aside, there are also other opportunities to participate in the system. Proof of work, 60%. Proof of stake, 30%. The final 10% goes towards the Decred development subsidy. These are funds that are delegated to projects chosen by the stakeholders. Decred works with over 40 contractors spanning the globe. From talented Golang developers to creative illustrators, Decred is a broad church and an inclusive open source community. Check the website for more information regarding recruitment. Decred isn't just about governance. Although in an infantile state, crypto commerce has an interesting future ahead of itself. Although it's very early days, there are some interesting services at the disposal of Decred holders. For example, there are many prepaid debit card services that allow you to load currency in crypto in exchange for fiat. These cards can then be used in anywhere that accept the card service provider. There is also a service out there that allows you to make Amazon purchases using Decred. 
Maybe you're a small and medium sized enterprise shifting a lot of goods and maybe some services. You can open up your business to new markets using integrated payment gateway services. This allows you to accept crypto in exchange for fiat. Please note, these services often charge a fee. So having a brief look back at what I've covered in this lesson, firstly I started off with having a look at how to purchase Decred using direct exchange or using crypto to crypto. Secondly I looked at how to gain Decred through the block reward system, whether it be through proof of stake or proof of work mining. Following that I looked at contracting. And lastly I had a look at e-commerce services that accept Decred. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. If you would like further updates, hit subscribe. On a final note, I'm Kyle, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.